Okay, so we made it here to these switches to where I think we can get our first encounter here. So let's go do that. And what is it? Gyarados. Turtle. Wow, that's actually really cool. Turtle is actually like a special terror. Central terror right there. So I'm down for that. A few moments later. Oh, great. It boosted up its physical defense. What am I thinking? Let's do that. Maybe it might be a big mistake doing it. <laughs> Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Gold and Hawk Gold One Control Randomizer. If you guys watched the previous episode, we beat a Chuck and we beat a Jasmine with a really hard fight. Which I was afraid we were about to lose some Pokemon, but we almost lost two, but thankfully we came out on top. And now we're gonna be continuing on to hopefully get to Mahogany Town, which I think we're probably gonna be doing in this episode. But before we do that, if you guys do like the video, like the video down below. But new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Click the bell for notification when I post up new videos. And also go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links in the description below. And also, I did some training off screen. So, let's take a look at our Pokemon right here. So, we got Neon the Espeon with Quick Attack, Swift, Sand Attack, Psybeam. Club the Mail Rock with Strain for Quake Bone Club Headbutt. Dreaming with Headbutt, Hypnosis, Disable Confusion. Nighttime with Slam, Dragon Rage, Thunder Wave, and Twister. Disease with Surf, Stomp, Cut, and Vice Grip. And Sludge with Tackle, Smoke, Screen, Poison, Gas, Sludge. Really, nothing much has changed for our Gold version other than Neon Learning Psybeam. But now for our Hawk Gold version, I decided to which deposit three Pokemon and put in three new members. And here they are. Biggie with... Biggie the Werelord, level 36, with Surf, Water Pulse, Whirlpool, Astonish, Light, with Surf, Stock Power, Thunderway, Spark. Now we put in Kick Guard, the Medicham, with Hidden Power, Force, Palm, Confusion, High Jump Kick. It Star, the Star Apto, with Close Combat, Area Race, Takedown, Fly. Brawl Horn, with Zen Headbutt, Takedown, Pursuit, Horn Attack. And Tongue, with Roll Out, Stomp, Defense Core, and Knock Off. Okay, so now with all that said done, I'm going to meet you guys once we get to the next route. We're here at Route 42 with exclamation point. Oh, this hiker. Oh, boy. Sorry, but I bumped into you. Did I hurt you? Please don't cry. Here, take this. We got HMO4, which is strength. Okay, this is where we finally get strength. Called Strike, when a Pokemon learns that it can move boulders out of their way. Enjoy a happy mountain climbing life. I'm gonna go teach my... Which Pokemon out of my team. I'm actually gonna teach Tongue, Bullhorn, and... That's it. I think I'm gonna teach Bullhorn, Tongue, Strength, so I'll do that off screen. So now with Brawl Horn and Tongue learning Strength, which I got rid of Horn Attack and Roll Out for because I don't want to lock myself in the Roll Out and Strength is better than Horn Attack, we're going to get this item right here, which is a PP Up and ATM 57 Spit Up. Ooh. Spit Up, not a good move. PP Up, good. Great jumps. And also, this is a new route, so we can actually get a new encounter, which I'm wondering, can we actually headbutt these trees? Nah. Actually, we can get our next encounter right here in the water, so... I'm actually gonna see if I can put... right up front. And also, we're gonna put... Hmm... 
nighttime up front. Alright. Now with that said, let's get our first encounter this route. After we jump onto Lantern. Alright, first encounter for Hulk Gold, what's it gonna be? Scorpy. That's Drapion. That's a potential Drapion right there. So we're just gonna dun the wave. See what we're gonna get. It's Venomar. Huh, do we have Venonat? I don't think so. So, we can actually catch it, so. Great Ball Scorpy, let's see if we can get it. One. Yeah, I'm gonna drag away. I don't know if that's gonna go. It probably won't. Yeah. Yeah, I actually should just go back with Hot Gold and buy more Great Balls. And we caught Scorp. Yeah, I just realized that. And Venomoth. Yep. We're gonna name Venomoth Marty and for Scorpy we're gonna name it Pinna. And then I'm off again. Okay, I'm gonna meet you guys back once I try to buy more Great Balls. So apparently, instead of selling Great Balls at the Pokemon, they instead ended up selling Ultra Balls as well. So I ended up buying 17 of them. So now, we're locking with Great Balls and Ultra Balls. And I think this Mount Mortar, yep. This way we can get ourselves a new encounter. Oh. <laughs> Swine up. <laughs> That's funny, actually. How are we gonna get a toss in both? Both versions? That would actually be pretty funny. And honestly, with the fact that this is a Swine up, I think we can catch it in this Ultra Ball because it is an Ultra Ball and it's easily the best ball there is. And yep. We're gonna drag you away to see how much that does. It's gonna have to have, I think it's gonna have like above 40. Yep. I see Dragon Wage actually is working pretty well in regards to weakening Pokemon. Funny enough. We're gonna name our Swine up. Quarky. There you go. You know, I was actually thinking of adding out some Pokemon. Trying to capture these wild Pokemon, but funny enough, we're actually catching these wild Pokemon in like pretty fast, actually. So, yeah, I decided to nickname it Danger simply because of the fact that it is a bullhorn or a bull, essentially. And also, I ended up having to edit this out because I was taking way too much time thinking about what nickname. And also, because I mostly edit out when I try to do nicknames, anyway. So. <laughs> Because I need to really think of my nicknames, even though they're not going to turn out to be that good, personally. Because I'm not saying I'm horrible coming up with nicknames, but mine is like, meh, kind of generic, not thinking about it. So, I'm just going to be up and honest with that, so. Okay, fine. That just sounds so wrong. Okay, with that said, we have... Okay, I have to cut down this tree in order to get to the Suicune, or encountering a Suicune. But honestly, I don't think we don't need to do that. 
and we got ourselves an Ultra Ball and a Yay. Miracle. We don't need X items. Oh wait. Trainer. We gotta show off. Neon. We gotta show you off. Also, shop that I just looked, but eh, I rather just had the squappy. We're actually gonna put cake up front to show that off. Why go? I mean, that's fine. We got side beam, so I'm actually just gonna show off this one trainer, and then I'll probably just edit the rest of our screen once we get to Mahogany Town. Technician Scott, love this. Yep, I think Force Pump could just do it for us. And just one shot to love this. Yep. Now I don't want your number. Your number doesn't mean anything. Actually. Matter of fact, I should just show these trainers on screen because getting to Mahogany Town is actually pretty easy, actually, funny enough. So let's do that. So, I don't think it will waste you guys so much time for us to get to Mahogany. So, Force Palm, Shinx, we're gonna side beam. Yeah, I know I overtrained a bit, but after what happened with Jasmine, we gotta mostly train our Pokemon right up because we almost lost some Pokemon. So I ended up having to train them all up. So, got this guy right out of the way. Oh, pff. well, might as well. Might as well just show him off at this point, so. Heiko. Heiko, whatever your name is. Juggler and Chief. What do you mostly have? I didn't say your names because I didn't, I completely skipped over them. We're again just gonna force Tom Saibi Mew, and I think this will one shot. Yep. Crabby. Noctowl. Yeah, with side beam and force palm, I think this is gonna do it for us. And he still has like one additional Pokemon left in the back. So, what's it gonna be? Electivire on the zoom well. There we go. And that's mostly it. And we made it to Mahogany, yep. So, I think we're just gonna have to heal up and I'll have to meet you guys where... I think we're supposed to go to the next route, so I'll meet you guys there. Here at Route 43, we're gonna skip this trainer right here because we don't want to deal with you. Which I'll probably deal with you off screen because I want to get my wild encounter, so... Let's see what's it gonna be. Toxicroak! Oh, that's another poison type, funny enough. So, oh, pfft. 
That's embarrassing. Which girl, Mark? Well, you might as well just show yourself off at this point because I was trying to get an encounter, but you end up having to butt right in. And we missed. I just saw that. I was like, we missed. How could you miss the slam? I get slams actually is pretty bad, but how could you miss the slam? You're supposed to body slam, actually. Not by slam. You're supposed to slam your opponent. Yeah, I think we can catch it with just this Vulture Ball for Toxic Cloak. Nope. Yeah, which girl, Mark? You won't worry that hard. Good at battling. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want your number. Your number's terrible. We don't want numbers around here. All we want is Youngster Joey. Or actually, we don't mostly get Youngster Joey now. We need Donna Chief. That's basically our only person we need our numbers for. Like, everyone else don't matter. Anyway, Slugma. Yeah, I think Great Ball is just going to be, like, easy to capture at this point. Because Sugma is just not that hard to catch. Yeah. I actually am going to see if I can catch Toxic Cloak off screen, so I'll meet you guys back here. Also, I decided a nickname Sugma Magma. <laughs> oh. I accidentally ran away from Toxic Cloak. <sighs> I wasn't even paying attention. I was paying attention with the Slugma. And instead, I ended up running away from Toxic Cloak. Okay, fine. It's just a Toxic Cloak. We're, we still have Drapion, or potential Drapion, it's doable, so I will have to meet you guys once we get to the next area, which I think we all got to get an encounter, and also we're getting a special encounter there too, so yeah, I'll meet you guys there. Made it all the way here to the Lake of Rage. Yep. We're gonna have to get our first encounter for this route, and also that Gyarados right over there is gonna be our special encounter, so, or static encounter, so, that's not our official encounter, so, a wild encounter for this route is gonna be a what? Zangoose! Slow King! Yeah, we're gonna have to paralyze both of them here. We're gonna Dragon Rage to get damage off. Yep, chuck a Great Ball at it. And let's start chucking the Ultra Ball. We click. Okay, got Zangoose. All right, that's one down. One, two, three. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can try to capture Slow King off screen. So I'll meet you guys back here if I want to do that, unless I want away from it by accident. <laughs> I decided to name Zangu's Foley because it does look like a Foley, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and I know that sounds really dumb to nickname it Zangu's that, but... <laughs> That's like the first thing that comes to my mind. It's actually funny. Anyways, on to cats. Still trying to catch with soaking. Bam! Oh my god. We only have three great balls left. We need... We only have three great balls left. Three great balls. Till I catch it with Slow King. 
That is completed in total bollocks. I'm actually gonna nickname. Nickname Slow King Smarty. Because it's very smart. Probably need to go back to buy more great balls or else I'm basically gonna be stuck. Also, Teddy us, I'm glad we got Zangus. Also, Dota Cheese! How are you doing? My chameleon is looking awesome. I wish I could show you. Hey, listen, I almost caught Kingdra the other day. Oh, it was so close, too. See you later. Yeah, see, told you, Dollar Chief was about to get Kingdra. I felt so bad for her. So I am going to have to go back to my great ball, so... I'll have to meet you guys back here once I go do that. Alrighty guys, so I made it back here to buy some great balls, which I bought about, I think, 21. Which I think I also did heal up. N yeah. I want on counter to be exactly the same pitching time. So, Soaking, go away. Go. Alright, what's it gonna be? On counter is gonna be a shiny shop it. And Kanga Scorn. That's gonna be our static encounters. Fight. Will or West. Yeah, we're gonna drag wage once again. I think we could actually throw a great ball at it. Not great ball, ultra ball. Ooh, it's tail whipping. Two, three, click. Yeah, shop it actually isn't that hard to catch because it is a shop it after all. So it really wasn't gonna be that hard to catch. So the nickname for shop it is gonna be. No, come on. I was about to to run away by accident. I'm gonna nickname it Dolly. So Shuppet's name is gonna be Dolly. We attained the red scale from a Shuppet. And now our main goal trying to capture Kangaskhan now. Tail with misses. Oh. All right, great ball once again. We're going to see if we can get it. Nope. That would be really embarrassing if we actually fail to capture a shiny. I mean, yeah, it's always going to be shiny, but if we fail to capture Kangaskhan, when we succeed at catching Tauros, which, yeah, the other half of Tauros is indeed Milk Tank, but still. Come on. Damn it. Leo again. Okay, things are looking very nasty, so I gotta switch into Sludge here. Because Sludge is physical bulky. It's just gonna keep on leering. So we have 50 great balls. It was a great thing to go back and buy more balls. One, two, Unfortunately, we can't weaken it anymore. Mega Punch. 
How much that's gonna do? 21. That was a good amount. One. Come on, stay in the ball. I mean, Kangaskhan has a good catch rate, but it's not like legendary tier catch rate. Bye, how much that's gonna be? Eight damage. Yeah, we're gonna have to heal Sludge up. Come on, Great Ball, walk. Come on, walk, walk. No. And now it's tail whipping. One, two, three. Bear! Woo! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Got Kangas gone. Woo! That was a pain in the butt. Thankfully, we finally got it. Nickname. Which Kangaskhan has a really good attack staff, you might know. Yeah, I'll take whatever item. And, um, purple scale. Actually, hold on, I got an idea. I'm gonna nickname it Mama. Because it is a Mama Kangaskhan. And red scale once again. Here's this man right over here. Let's talk to him. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. Actually, it has a Slow King and a Kangas gone. And so, the Magic Carp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? Yo, ooh, and dude. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you bowed earlier. Ooh. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. Help me investigate? Yeah, sure thing. Excellent. It seems that the lake's magic carp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you. Ooh, and do. Yeah, we will actually meet him back in Mahogany, so let's go do that. Let's go and do right here in this building. See Lance, Dragonite, Hyper Beam. Boo, oh crap. <laughs> what took you? Ooh, dude. Just like thought. That strange radio signal is coming from here. The stairs are right here. Ooh, dude. We should split up to check this place. I'll go first. Okay. Let's go do that. But I also think I have to run right into a Team Rocket one. Because I know this area. It's this. Yep. I am actually going to put Star up front just to show you guys it off. And let's go. Alright. Fisher Crystal. Execute. Yep, we are gonna swift. Lazy Max. <laughs> His name is Lazy Max. I get it, cause he's lazy. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. Yeah, Aerial Ace is just gonna one shot the Pidgey. It's not gonna live. Yep. Spearow. 
Okay, so this guy's team is a joke. Weedle. Yep. This guy's nothing but a joke. So, whip. Dang, I failed. And now we have to deal with the next grunt. It's my turn. There's no escape. Okay. So, what do you have this time? Fish is Zoe and Lazy Pie. Psyduck and Wampa. Oh my god. Well, okay, we're not going to underestimate because we might just all of a sudden throw out a Kyogre. After having all this garbage Pokemon. So, won't underestimate. We should never underestimate the power of randomizers. Spiel. Airway Star. Bunch of that Spiel, and that's gonna oak out. Yeah. Kingdra. See, actually, it's a Pokemon. Daughter Chief! This guy took the Kingdra. This guy stole the Kingdra that you end up losing out on. Yeah, well, Lord also got taken out as well. We'll keep appearing until you trip a secret switch. Yeah, I think we could continue on with me doing this off screen. Okay, so we made it here to these switches to where I think we can get our first encounter here. So let's go do that and see what we can get. And what is it? Gyarados. Tortoise. Wow, that's actually really cool. Tortu is actually like a better terror. Potential to terror right there. So I'm down for that. Go great ball. Oh wait, I should have wicked it first. I'm incompetent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna dragon rage. Ooh, it's cursing. Okay, how much is is the great ball gonna do? Nope. Yep, we're gonna switch right into ball horn here. Is there any way to weaken it? Bye. Okay, that didn't do much to anything. I'm more concerned if his suit's gonna kill Percy, which I don't want to take a chance because if I do that, we're gonna be potentially killing the Turtwake, which is something I don't want to do. And for the biggest mistake in the history of this series. Oh great! It boosted up its physical defense. What am I thinking? Let's do that. Maybe it might be a big mistake doing it. Fuck! My luck sucks! My luck legit sucks! Why do you have to get a quit at a time like this? This is so stupid. This is actually stupid. And now we're not gonna get the freaking Gyarados. Yeah, I'm just gonna beat up this scientist just to turn off these stupid statues. And we only have four great balls left. Go! 
three great balls left, honestly. Oh my god, we fail if we're gonna fail to capture both one because I run out of great balls and the other because of my luck being trash. So it's like come on, stay in the ball. One, two. Well, gotta take my chance. Gotta take my chance with my final great ball. Might as well. Just go for it. Just my bad luck. I'm just gonna twist her kill. Just get out. I'll get more great balls off screen once I finish this video. But for right now, let's just get a toxic plate and just switch off. Yep. So now with the surveillance thing turned off, we could basically just go right through this entire place with no worrying about trying to fight any of these freaking Team Rocket guys. We got Mammazizer, which is practically useless. Oh, Moltres! And a Heat Rock. Also, what I just... I just used Slam by accident. Yeah, I'm just gonna drag and rage. That was horrible. We lost a Gyarados because I ran out of Great Balls, which is like 12 or 13 of them. And a crit hit on Pursuit. A freaking critical hit. Like, and we ended up losing our Grass type, which was a potential Torterra. Like, Torterra was gonna be a good Pokemon, but... Nope, we can't let us have good Pokemon. Actually, we have good Pokemon, but we just can't let us get a grass type that comes to my mind. So that really freaking blows, but there's nothing we can do about it. We failed to capture Totway because my luck's terrible, and we end up failing to get Gyarados because I'm out of balls. And this guy's stacked with two. Freaking legendaries. I mean, Lugia level 20 is actually not that hard, personally, so. Oh, 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 oh. It actually has Arrow Blast. It actually has Arrow Blast. I did not actually know that. I didn't know it actually gets Arrow Blast at level 20. Like, what? Like, I was expecting to have, like, Ghost, but it has Arrow Blast. Yep, shut off. Get an exact. No, you know what? No, I don't want this exact, you see. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave this place. Personally. I'm actually gonna get the remaining items right here. X accuracy again. I don't know why this put entire place is just stacked up with X accuracies, but it's stacked. And Afa. Yep. Which I'm just gonna head all the way up to the Pokemon Center. And I think we can actually wrap up for today's episode. Because of the fact that, well, I think on that really terrible note, we're actually just gonna wrap up 
after we heal up our Pokemon right here. Yeah, thanks a lot, no story, yeah, sure. Yeah, that was really bad, but, eh, well, there's really nothing we could do there. So, yeah. But if you guys do indeed like the video, like the video down below and all that. In the next episode, we're going to finish off the Team Rocket Hideout. And I think we're also going to challenge the 7th Gym Leader. And hopefully get our 7th Gym Badge. So, and also we got to hope my luck actually does improve and get better. Because we could have had a Torterra and a Gyarados. I mean, if that Gyarados were not Dragon Dance. But we could have had Gyarados, but... Nothing we can do about it. So, until then, see you next time.